Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, and before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that my gratitude for the opportunity to meet on the Treaty 13 lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and to reaffirm the Ontario Green Party's commitment to the truth and reconciliation process. I'm honored today to be joined by Andrea Hatali from the ODSP Action Coalition today on this day, the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. And I'm here once again to call on the Ford government to end legislative poverty in Ontario by doubling ODSP rates immediately. When the legislature returns next week, I will be retabling a motion calling on the Ford government to take immediate action to double social assistance rates. There are currently just under 382,000 people on ODSP and thousands more who have a disability who are trying to get onto ODSP and or appeal their denials to be on ODSP. A single person living on Ontario Disability Support Payments receives $1,228 per month or $14,736 a year. That is 30% below the poverty line of around $20,000 in Ontario. That means people on social assistance are living in legislated poverty, crushing poverty, and it has to end. In 1998, a person on disability support payments received $930 a month. So 24 years later in 2020, that had only increased by $239. Imagine that. Imagine what inflation is like right now and think about what it's been like over the last 25 years. The paltry 5% increase the Ford government uh, delivered in their last budget doesn't even meet the current rate of inflation, let alone the inflation rates that we've experienced over the last 25 years. So we are calling on the Ford government to double ODSP rates. We're calling on them to do it now. Poverty costs this province $33 billion a year. And it's simply insulting that the province has not stepped up to act especially when, according to the Financial Accountability Officer of Ontario, the government underspent the amount of money they had budgeted for social services by $1.2 billion last year. The money is there. It's time to do the right thing and increase ODSP rates and end legislated poverty in Ontario. Right now, we are forcing people with disabilities to make the impossible choice between paying rent, putting food on the table, and being able to just even have any hope of paying for the basics. And now I'd like to invite Andrea to come to the podium and talk about the reality for people with disabilities in more detail. Thank you, Andrea. Hi. I would like to thank everybody who's watching and paying attention to this press conference and the media. And I would like to thank Mike um, and Bianca for um, for having this press conference because it's um it's a really really important um, important thing. Um, so um, when I was here before, um, um, I. Uh, I got a chance to sit in, in question period and Ford tried to um, answer some questions that were put towards him regarding um, poverty and, and legislated poverty and ODSP. 
Um, and what he talked about was, um, he talked about the 5% increase, um, but he talked about a whole bunch of tax cuts that, um, that people on ODSP don't qualify for and said that that was reducing um, poverty, but it's not because we don't qualify for those tax cuts. And, and so he seems rather clueless about our plight. Um, and uh, and we are citizens um, of Ontario, and we vote. Um, so so you know that's that's really important. Um, the five percent increase is um, spread across both um, both parts of ODSP. There's shelter and basic needs, um, but if you if you if you are living in subsidized housing, you didn't get um, the twenty-two bucks for um, for shelter. You just got the basic needs, which was only thirty-seven um, dollars. So, I mean, that's very that's really punitive. Um, and um, o O W didn't get an increase at all which is terrible because they have to live on like $750 a month and, and, and to not even get an increase. I mean, they still have, you know, some, um, they still have to, um, live somewhere and, and, and the prices are going up. Um, grocery bills that used to cost me six, me $60 are costing like 80, $90. And, and, and that's a huge increase. That's a huge chunk out of, out of people's budget. Um, and, um, so if 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 we were to double um to to double um ODSP rates we would be able to get all of our food um from you know grocery stores and um and and um maybe like um a, um, a snack bar or something like that once in a while. Um, now a lot of our food comes from food banks and meal programs. Um, and that's, that's just not, you know, um, it's good food, but, but it doesn't um, help the economy at all. Um, and that's another thing that if they were to give us an increase, um, we would spend money on, on local things, um, because, you know, we still can't afford to, um, to jet across and go to Caribbean islands or anything like that. Um, it would just, it would just give us enough money to make it to the end of the month. Um, which is really important because there's nothing like not having enough money to make it to the end of the month and, and, uh, wondering what you're gonna do and, and like how you're gonna eat. There's a certain amount of stress and desperation that, um, that comes along with that. So I will, um, um, I will give it back to Mike to close, um, to, for his closing comments. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us today. And I just really want to say how much I deeply appreciate just your unwavering advocacy to double social assistance rates. Uh, the ODSP Action Coalition um, has inspired me. Uh, and just proud to say that the Ontario Greens were the first party at Queen's Park to call for a doubling of social assistance rates and an end to legislated poverty in this province. Um, I'm just so heartbroken that, you know, an increasing number of people with disabilities are choosing to explore options such as medical assistance and dying because it's become so desperate. And is that really the kind of province we want in Ontario? I think we as Ontarians are better than that. We want people to live with dignity. And at the very least we can do is increase 
ODSP rates above the poverty level, the deep poverty level, uh, and to do the right thing as Ontarians. And Andrea, I will continue to be a voice for the um, and work across party lines to support um, the ODSP Action Coalition's calls for doubling social assistance rates. We're happy to answer any questions. Oh, okay. No worries. We must have answered all of his questions. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we gave him enough information. Great. Well, I appreciate everyone uh, for joining us today and uh, on this uh, Nash International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. Let's actually eradicate poverty. Thank you.